YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Voxel Tycoon. Yes, episode two. So, um, Voxel Tycoon was one of the five games that entered into our trial by Fiverr, and it emerged the winner. Uh, so, as per uh, uh, to the winner goes the spoils, and the spoils is a mini series, or at least a mini series. Could go longer, um, depends on how the view go, the view count goes. But I will certainly be doing a mini series this week. For Voxel Tycoon, and as promised, we are picking up right where we left off uh, from our original uh, Trial by Fiverr video here. So, just uh, for those of you who didn't catch the original, well, uh, I mean, go hit the playlist, catch the original. But if you want the Teal Deer uh, version of it here, we've got two different. Uh, this is sort of like Transport Tycoon, Open TDD. Uh, we're, we're moving stuff from A to B and making money and growing towns by providing them the stuff that they want, um, and so on and so forth. So right now we are in one region. Uh, the game world is broken up into regions, uh, so the other regions we can't really tap into yet. We have to we have to pay the fee to get into those regions, and uh, the fee is in the millions of dollars, and we have the twenties of thousands of dollars. So it's gonna be a little while, but we still have a lot of work to do in this region so then um right they um so we're in two different towns we've got hopewell and uh, fullerton which will eventually be named jared and um uh zephira um it the only reason i haven't renamed them yet is this is the first game that renaming a town costs you money and not an insignificant amount of money either um so we're we're we're, we're working on our finances first now um i've let a little bit of time pass between uh, last episode and this one hopewell has grown a little bit uh, and fullerton has grown uh, a bit as well um both of the town's growths are being rated at excellent uh now fullerton here is um excellent because it is a tourist town and tourist towns specifically care about passengers um, and our passenger service to them is excellent. So the fact that we haven't gotten their one industry uh, filled yet um, doesn't really bother them. They're, they're happy to grow. On the flip side, Hopewell is an industrial town, which really cares about their two industries being fulfilled. Luckily, we're fulfilling both their industries and their passengers, so they're growing quite happily. Now then, um, as far as um, as far as expanding our operations here, so the next logical thing that I want to do, there is a third town in our region here, Greenwood. Um, we don't have to buy into any other place to get into it. We just have to pay for the infrastructure to hook that up. However, Greenwood's a little bit of a stretch here. Um, we're, we're most likely would want to be building a bridge, and that's probably going to be kind of expensive. Um, so I think the next best thing to do is to get this iron ore deposit hooked up because ultimately Fullerton wants some iron ore here. Um, and yeah, the sooner we get them supplied for iron ore, the more they'll be willing to pay us for it too. Because without the demand there, the, the price is going to be sinking. So let's, let's, let's get them up and running, shall we? Uh, now I do think we are going to need to uh, get some... Uh, We'll take loans as we need it. We can go up to a million dollars in loans. We're at $725,000 in loans. So most of our starting cash was actually in the form of a loan, um, which I mean, you know what? I can appreciate that. That is tricky because you are technically starting from nothing since all of your initial outlay is just on, on the back of cash. Uh, but that also means we have a bit of a hole to dig out of before we can really go nuts with expansion. But what I want to do is I want to get the region set up here. So let's do that. All right. Um, iron ore. Let's see. Mining facilities. Iron mine. There we go. That's 50,000 bucks. All right. Well, we're going to start the loans nice and early. There we go. Yeah, we'll put you right there. That's good. And then we're going to need a uh, a station, a freight station. <clears throat> and we're going to need to make sure that this is um, in range of these. 
but we'll want to make sure it's in yeah we'll do something like this that should be good hope well annex that's fine all right now let's draw our road down here now we are going to want it to use the same road here we just don't want it to come up and get in, in the way of here but i don't think it will Now, do I want to skirt it over here? Probably not, because I've already built the, si the road going sideways here. This, this length of road I already built as part of my coal uh, delivery process, so might as well use the infrastructure that we already have. Um, so then, yeah, then it will go all the way down, all the way down, uh, and then we have to uh, put a... Um, we'll probably have to get another loan for this. Get another freight station so that we can drop off stuff here. Now, what we could do, um, I mean, I'd like to put it further up in the town, but um, this actually might make things a little easier on us. Uh, if we put it right here, it gets a free turnaround, so we don't have to wait for it to go anywhere else. So, yeah, you know what? Let's put the freight station back there. That works out for me. And now we're going to need a whole bunch of trucks. And I do mean a whole bunch of trucks. Now, the distance from here to here is probably about that of the distance to Fullerton South, which is where we're getting our wood, all the way up to here, which is one of the goods that Hopewell um, is demanding. So I'm going to, and, and we're, we're keeping up with demand pretty well. I mean, we got a bunch in storage, but our wood deliveries come in waves. So you get a bunch built up into storage and then the trucks don't stop by for a while. Uh, and then that ticks back down. So we're not really in danger of oversupply, but the, we are keeping up with the demand, which is a good thing. So I think, uh, I think we're going to try and aim for the same number. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trucks. If uh, to to cover the same amount of distance, well, let's get the first one purchased, and we not we might not even be able to afford eight trucks here because they're they're not exactly the cheapest. But let's get one, and then we'll clone it off a bunch of times, and let's make sure we buy the right truck this time. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba. what do we got here? Yeah, your wood. Yeah, this one iron ore or coal. So yeah, this is the truck that we want. Let's add a stop, Hopewell Annex, load, and please do it till you're full, because we do not want any partially empties. Uh, and then we're going to add a stop, Fullerton West, unload everything, Sivu Play, and that's, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all they need to do. They'll, they'll find their route just fine. That's the other reason I want to go down to Fullerton first is because we have this whole road built out. So we've already got that bit of infrastructure that we're playing off of. All right, this will be... Um, I know we haven't renamed the town yet, but that doesn't stop me from naming my routes accordingly. All right, let's get the, ta the the thing going. I've got it on speed two just to help things move along. But yeah, now let's um, let's see how many of these we can get. How many did we say again? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so nine trucks approximately, or at least as much as we can afford. All right, cl close on down. Thank you. One. All right, so that's two. So that's two total. Three total. Four. I'm sure there's a shortcut I could be doing, but five, six, and seven. And that is that is it. <laughs> that is all we can afford. But that's okay. This should uh, we we should once these trucks actually you know make their deliveries, it'll they'll they'll get. You know, we'll get we'll get a payoff for this. I mean, it'll take them a few trips before they pay themselves off. Yeah, we're also uh, taxing the iron or iron mine here, 
waiting for it to fill back up here. But again, it'll have plenty of time to fill itself up once these uh, once these trucks go here. And what is the uh, what's the money we get from here? Fourteen hundred bucks. Nice. So now we'll just need to keep an eye on this here, just to make sure we don't flood. Now again, we obviously are. Um, we're we're gonna be supplying a whole bunch more than before. What what what's their what's your hunger here? Five. It eats it eats it at a five, which is good. I, I like it to have a good hunger for goods. So yeah, we've got we so we our our first wave of trucks have come and gone, and yeah, we still have some in storage, but it will nibble away at the storage. Um, and in fact, we know for a fact that it's not going to be enough. Um, because we, we didn't buy the, I think we were up to six and we know we need nine. So let's clone you off and, uh, off you go. And yeah, when I clone them, they, they inherit the same route. So I don't have to tell each of them to go on the same route. And again, the, we don't really need to feed this industry for Fullerton, Fullerton's growth sake because Fullerton doesn't really care about the industry. But the reason I'm feeding the industry is because I care about the money that we get from the industry. Even though the Fullerton's a tourist town, that doesn't mean the industry isn't going to pay us. So I'll take my payday. Thank you very much. And, you know, if it helps the town grow a little bit faster, then that's that's good in my book. Ooh, Hopewell's up to uh, 240 already. Nice. Yeah, it's go it is growing like a weed here. And yeah, it takes a while for our supply here to get uh, cranking, uh, but that's okay. The the rating will go up over time, especially as we keep um, keep the demand fed. Now, let's see what we got else we got here. Yeah, the iron the iron mine's keeping up just fine. You know, it'll get slightly depleted uh, a little bit when uh, when we have the wave of trucks hitting it, but it can keep up, no problem. And uh, I think we need one more of these trucks. Let me just make sure I clone the right one. Yeah, I was about to clone the wrong one. Don't be silly, Pinstar. Just saw, wow, I just saw Fullerton grow. 46 people, man, this thing, uh, they are indeed growing like a freaking weed. In fact, they've grown some people out of our catchment area here. Uh, until this drops down to something below excellent, I'm not going to build out more uh, things, but we'll just take what we can get. Uh, let's see. We are not over here. I think we're good on that front. Ooh, we're uh, we're running the wood a little bit thick. Woods woods a little bit thick right now. Yeah. Why don't you draw? Why don't we? Uh, you, my friend, um, go home. Please go home. Because, you know, we, as I mentioned before in the last video, we do not, do not want to over, um, uh, max out the in storage because that will cause the demand to plummet. Completely plummet. Or uh, rather, not the demand, but the price. We will, we will get, uh, we will get, like, the price goes down a, a lot. So it will become much less profitable for us to be in that industry. Um, so, you know, that's precisely the reason why we're keeping it. Now here, yeah, supply of 20, I'm okay with that. In fact, I'm, I'm going to hold off on buying more of that. And look, the price of iron ore is going back up. Now, I think the price themselves will, will fluctuate here. It's just a matter of, you know, don't cap it out or it's going to hit, hit the toilet. So I'm going to just keep an eye on it. It's fine for now, but if it gets too much higher, <clears throat> I'm going to have to pull another truck over. 
I am guarding my profits very carefully. Thank you very much. Okay, we're 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 making back some money at an appreciable rate, but how much is this going to cost us um, uh, for a bridge? Actually, before I get into uh, bridge territory here, um, we could set up an intra um, city network here. Um, bus stop. A bus stop right here would be fantastic if it wasn't for this damn hill. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess I could put one right here. Yeah, that, that lets me do this without stomping on stuff. And then we get one at the end here. Yeah, we'll get we'll get another um, Now let's see. I'm I'm thinking about the routing here. Actually, let's see how how much is it to make a bridge here? Do I need like flat surface for a bridge? A bridge. Not enough money. Yeah. Thought that would be expensive. Um, what other types do we have? Arc bridge? Just the arc bridge? I guess so. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to need to wait it out because we, we literally cannot tap into any more loans at the moment. Oh, actually we can. Our, our company value has grown enough to tap into the loans. Uh, still, actually, I think, yeah. No, we we wanna we wanna hook this up. Yeah, we'll sidestep that. All right, um, let's bridge you. Unless that's going up high. Yeah, that works. It, it was freakishly expensive, but it works, technically. We just need to wait for more money. Luckily, our routes are fairly profitable at the moment. Question mark? The problem with passenger service, though, is that uh, passenger service by itself is actually not very profitable. Um, they, their passenger service is there to help towns grow. The other thing to note with um, passengers uh, at the moment is that they don't know how to transfer, meaning passengers aren't going to get off at a single stop and then get on another form of transportation. The the devs are actually working on that. That is in the uh, in the cards at the moment, but at the moment that is not a thing. Um, 
So I'm I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build the cities as if that were a thing, but um, it, it's not yet a thing. All right, we're almost there. It actually might even behoove me just to set up the um, just to set up the um, the industry here because the uh, our our town down here, Green, uh, Greenwood. Uh, it also wants um, iron ore, um, and they they only eat it at a four, at a rate of four, so we don't need nearly as much delivery here. I think what, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna loop you around here like that. Um, and this will allow me to both get another st uh, station for passengers going. In fact, yeah, we could start up the passenger service first. Yeah, actually, we could do another passenger station like up here. Not enough money. Never mind. You know what? I think I will go straight into the industrial before I hook up the passengers because it's not so much about town growth that we're worried about. It's about the money. And the industry is where the money's at. So I think it is worth it to... Uh, what's, a, what's a freight station? 20? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do something like this. Yeah, there we go. Greenwood South. And since we've already got our stuff up here, we just need to buy the trucks now. Now, there's we're going to need a lot of trucks. We're going to need an awful lot of trucks. Sound seems a little loud for to me here. Uno momento. No, well, master volume's pretty low. Alright, so let's get our inaugural truck going here. Oh yeah, our wood. How's our wood doing? Still a little rich for my blood, but if it's stabilized, because it's about at the same level as before. So if it's stabilized, then I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's uh, let's sell that. Give us a little another influx of cash. It's unfortunate that we can't repurpose that. This is the correct one, right? The correct t t truck type. All right, so we pick up at uh, Hopewell Annex. Load to full, please. And then we will add a stop and you go all the way down here at Greenwood South. Unload, please. And who, who are we, uh, who's going to be our city number three here? All right, picking up from my nor my regular thing, we've got Bibbo, Bibbo Iron. So Greenwood will eventually become Thibbo. All right, off you go. And I think that one iron mine will be enough to keep up with all of the trucks since we've got two different industries uh, pulling from it. We should be fine. Keyword should be. Keep watching you.
Oh, come on! I'm sending a truck there right now! Game? Yeah, now their demand is tiny. It consumes only three, mo three goods per month. Come on! The truck is on its way! God dang you! I mean, that can change, but uh, that stinks because now now we can't we can't get as much money overall. As a frazzin game. Don't you know that there was somebody out for delivery? There will be several somebodies, but I'm not going to make too many somebodies since you're not going to be digesting the stuff I bring you all that often. I mean, they pay well for it, but they just suddenly decided they didn't want as much of it as a frazzin. I build out, I invest this much in a giant bridge, and this is how you thank me. Feh. Now, we'll get a, uh, a passenger bus going out there, too. I'm trying to think of the best, uh, the best uh, stop in Hopewell to... Uh, tap into here. I mean, Hopewell's growing. Don't, uh, don't, don't get me wrong there. Um, Hopewell West. We could do Hopewell West to Hopewell North uh, West to um, Greenwood Southwest. Yeah, that would work out. So let's get a, an inaugural passenger going here. Uh, 31,000. We need a little bit more cash money before we can tap into buses. All right, now we're good. Let's get our bus lines going. All right, well, bus line, singular. All right, so here's here's how we're gonna here's how we're gonna bring this one out. So we're gonna start you out. Well, we might as well pick up some people from here first. We do a transfer Hopewell West, add stop Hopewell Northwest. Um, and then we're going to go straight down to Greenwood Southwest, like so. And this is Jared to the bow. Off you go. And I know the, the, the whole, the entirety of the town is not properly covered yet but that's going to involve me building more roads to get the proper looping infrastructure and i don't exactly have the money for that because you're just starting to be all restricty on your demand as a frazzin oh so once we get the satisfaction to good it'll go up to the next level gotcha okay so that was that so temporary setback temporary setback i can handle that uh, i do i am going to need more trucks i think we're going to need what 27000 yeah 27000 which we just got off you go yeah, fourteen hundred bucks per delivery. So even, I mean, they'll take it, you know. And we're not in danger of flooding the 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 market with them. Yeah, they just digested the next block of them. Yeah. 
But yeah, once this once this rating goes up higher, then we'll be we'll be golden. All right, folks. Well, I think uh, I think we're doing pretty well here. Uh, Hope well, growing like a weed. Uh, we're gonna need to hook up whatever more passengers we're missing here, because yeah, this place is well growing like a weed. Fullerton, look at, I mean, we, we, we just saw it expand before our eyes. New road over here, new stuff over here. Fullerton is a happy camper. We're, we're pretty soon going to slip under on the passengers. Okay, one too many things of iron ore, which actually is a wonderful thing. That's the best kind of problem to have. Where's our... Um, Yeah, that's the fear of iron. You, um, you're gonna go to um, the bow iron, and this time we can actually interuse those things, so we don't necessarily have to buy the extra, the extra trucks here. So we'll pull one off of off of Zephira, put it onto here. I'm mean, gonna keep it off of there just because I don't want to flood this, this this business here. That's uh, a little bit dainty in how much it uh, it demands here. All right, we're up to bad. So we're 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 doing okay. I probably need one at least one more truck. I missed. Come back here, you. Don't make me bust out the pause button. All right, now how's Greenwood doing itself? All right, so yeah, we're up to an average on passengers, which is good enough for the moment. This is a mixed type village, so they equal, they value the economy uh, uh, and the uh, passengers equally. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll be we'll be in better shape here. Greenwood will start to grow, and and like I said, we'll get more passenger services going for them in the next episode. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.